if you don't mind, please could you put your pitch in the chat box? And I would also love it if you could also let me know if you are a stranger, meaning that this is your first one, uh, first live, first live training with me. Put stranger in the box. And if you are a stalker and regularly attend my thing, uh, please put stalker. <laughs> Uh, that would be really cool. Maria, it's super cool to see you on because I know that you were trying to see today. So um, that's really awesome that you were able to jump in today. Uh, Sashwa, I'd say that you're probably, you're a stalker now. You've moved to stalker category. Excellent, Martin. Uh, Martin and Kuvi, that's awesome. Lovely to see you here. Jenny Carmichael, I've definitely seen your name. So I must have been stalking you. Um, and then if you could just share with us in there what it is that you do, uh, your business, your Facebook page, if people would like to jump in and uh, like your page, that would be really awesome. Excellent. Nicolette, thank you. Stranger, but see you at the Expos. Awesome. I can't wait for the Expos to start again. Um, I'm really excited about that. Uh, Paul Paula Branch has been working her behind all. I'm just hoping there's a few more people just coming in at the moment. Um, thank you so much. I am keeping you all muted just because this is being recorded um, and just to stop the background noise of um, uh, when you happen to reprimand your children in the background with all this homeschooling that's going on. But only a few more weeks. Excellent. So some of us are already sharing what it is that you do, putting in your business Facebook page as well. Um, and at the end, if you like, you can click the three dots in the chat box and download that to your computer so you can go in and follow up. Uh, but I'm super excited today. I get so excited with these. Um, today is sales like crazy on Facebook. Um, so who of you are actually brave enough to say that you are or aren't getting sales on Facebook? That would be super cool. Let's see whether or not you are brave enough to give us the honest, honest truth around whether or not you actually sell your services or products successfully on Facebook. Uh, this is a safe place, um, but I'd love to know if you are actually getting clients through Facebook, because believe it or not, um, inquiries good, Facebook works for you, awesome. Um, excellent, yep, QB gets, never gets sales, thank you. Yeah, look, um, I always say it's not working unless you're actually getting sales through Facebook, uh, which means something needs to change. Excellent. Yep, sometimes, uh, Daryl, I love what you said there. Uh, getting sales, all of my sales are Facebook related lately. Excellent. Uh, not getting any. Yep, Sashwa, early days. Um, and it always comes down to a lot of the stuff that we're going to be talking about today. So I'm really, really excited. Now, Go, hopefully everyone is in. That's super cool. Uh, you should be able to see my PowerPoint presentation here. Uh, sales are crazy on Facebook. With no further ado, uh, we will jump right in. Just hoping there's not going to be too many people going in and out while I'm doing this. All right, cool. So I'm so excited because you're in the right spot. Okay, you registered for this webinar. Uh, which means that you seriously are interested in getting your Facebook to work for you. And I love saying that, Facebook to work for you, meaning Facebook does the work, which means you don't have to do as much work. Now, what am I going to show you today? I'm going to show you how to create, um, and all these words are very important for this one, and that's why there's heaps of them, but to create a valuable, desirable, customer and outcome focused offer that your customer will buy on Facebook. So it means they'll actually pay you. They'll actually hand over the money. Um, and today I'm going to dispel three myths for you. So my promise to you, my promise is that I'm going to show you the exact offers that my clients have adapted. So I will be showing you some offers uh, for my actual clients um, and their results and how they're actually getting clients. And on top of it, I'm going to show you mine. So hang on, it is all coming. But your commitment is to put everything away and give me your undivided attention. 
uh, because if you miss even the smallest of steps, it simply won't work for you. Uh, and that's the honest truth. So try not to uh, be a woman and <laughs> try to multitask during this time. Take this time to actually fully listen and take on board what the training is today and then implement it into your business so you don't miss out on steps. But first, for those of you, because there are quite a few strangers here today, this is who I am, a qualified and award-winning Facebook strategist. However, it was not always that way. I was initially self-taught and I used Facebook to save my business initially. Uh, so in 2008, knowing no one, I immigrated to the Gold Coast from Durban with my twin four-year-olds and a one-year-old and my husband at the time, uh, and he was on a working visa. So uh, he was working, which means I was actually at home with the children, but he was made redundant twice in the first couple of years. Uh, and we had no marketing budget, no startup capital, and I did not know anybody here on the Gold Coast. And the personal training industry was quite saturated. Um, and basically, I taught myself Facebook to get clients, create opportunities, and grow my business. Five years later, my PT business was doing so well that I opened up a health, wellness, and fitness center, and I had that for a couple of years uh, as well. I think I got rid of that in March last year because I simply could not run both businesses anymore, getting too old for that. Um, but what happened with the health, wellness, and fitness studio is that the, sub, the subcontractors struggled to pay me rent. Um, so I actually started to run weekly meetups to support them. And whenever I couldn't get a guest speaker, I would stand up and talk about Facebook and how I had used Facebook to grow my personal branding uh, to get more clients. Uh, what ended up happening is it became quite a, we used to get about 10 to 20 people each Friday uh, at these workshops, which was really cool. And a lot of them actually weren't from the health, wellness and fitness industry. They started being from all industries. So after six and a half years of doing both businesses, I walked away from the gym to focus on struggling business owners who are overwhelmed with using Facebook in their business. Um, and this actually talks quite a bit about, this also refers when we go to the myths a little bit later on, where we talk about the three myths I'm going to dispel today, um, you're going to see some of the things that people think happen on Facebook, and I'm going to dispel those myths for you today. But so far, I have now helped over 300 business owners worldwide learn how to safely and effectively create income and scale their business using Facebook. And that's important because for me, it's not just about content creation. It's not just about being visible. It's not just about engagement. It's about coming up with an income producing strategy, which means looking at your offers, looking at what it is that you're actually selling uh, and who's actually going to buy it on Facebook. And then how can you scale your business so automating some of those processes as well. So why me, Waftam? Uh, many of you will be seeing uh, this word Waftam that I've been throwing around. Uh, and it means waste of effing time and money or waste of Facebook time and money. And this is what I'm hoping uh, that people are going to avoid doing. A waste of time well, I wasted money on supposed quick fixes and false promises from generalists, okay? Uh, if you're brave enough to do that, write that in their chat box. Uh, if you have ever wasted money on supposed quick fixes and false promises. Downloaded every free ebook and watched every YouTube video and either didn't understand it or I didn't implement it. So again, if you're brave enough, say, yep, that was me. Or how many downloaded every ebook? They're still sitting in your folder, and you actually haven't read them or implemented them. Wasted heaps of time trying to do everything somebody had said. So a little bit of this one, and a little bit of that one, a little bit of this coach, a little bit of that coach. Oh, that's working. I'll try to do that thing for now. But never fully actually executing anything to to fruition. Uh, ever irritated people doing spammy things? Um, One hundred percent guilty. I am. Um, I did a lot of spammy things in the initial days, like sending people uh, private messages when I didn't even know them. Um, yep, guilty, guilty as charged. And that's actually been happening quite a bit over COVID as well, I don't know if you've noticed. Um, and I've stared aimlessly at the screen, hoping for a different, hoping for something different, uh, but getting the same thing all the time. Hoping for a different result, but getting the same pointless things happening over and over again. And I did what business coaches suggested. And I don't know if you've heard this one. So tell me if you've heard this one. 
business coaches suggest doing a live on your page every day for 30 days um, and that's going to grow your Facebook page. Uh, but guess what? Disappointment. All right. They create all these Facebook lives every day. They don't even know what to talk about. They don't have the confidence to do it. And there's no one even on their page anyway. So nobody's seeing them. And those who are seeing them are treating them as unprofessional. All right. I provided heaps of valuable content. Okay. So another thing here, everybody says, oh yeah, give it all away. Give it all away for free. You know what? Yes, you do have to give away valuable content and show your expertise, but that does not mean you have to sell your soul, nor does it mean that you should not at the end say, hey, and if you want to work with me, this is how much it is. Because we deserve to be paid for what it is that we're offering. Uh, so providing heaps and heaps of valuable content and often no one sees it or even appreciates it. And this is my favorite. It, giving away valuable content and giving it all away for free does not feed the family. So how would you like the easy way, a way that works? All right, so who wants the easy way? It's not a quick fix, but it is an easy way. All right, but first let's have a look. What does actual online success looks like? Because this is something that when I worked in the fitness industry, People who were unhealthy and had sore backs and uh, were tired, couldn't get up, had no energy to play with their children, only when they started to lose weight and eat healthy did they go, ah, oh, I didn't realize that I, that's what healthy feels like because they were so used to feeling unhealthy. Now, I've noticed that it's the same with online success. People think because they've got a pretty Facebook page or because they're doing collaborations or doing guest interviews. Um, that that is actually online success. Let's have a look at what online success looks like. Well, firstly, you jump out of bed every day, happy to serve your, uh, every day excited to serve your client. You have the knowledge to time effectively create content on Facebook because we know how long that can take. You have an easy to follow action plan. Imagine knowing every single day what it is that you have to do to get a result. You actually enjoy spending the 20 minutes online connecting with your perfect clients because they're actually coming into your business. New opportunities are created through Facebook, like speaking events, podcasts, interviews, radio, TV, collaborations. Uh, this morning at 8 a.m., I was talking to two Californians, uh, so two people in California uh, that I was do doing a podcast interview with. And I was going out to their network. My program's going out to their, ne their network. Um, your business has increased visibility and stands out from your competitors. You are happy, your clients are happy, and more clients and opportunities present themselves. Can I have a hell yeah? You get paid your worth, you are in demand, and your business has the systems in place to run smoothly and scale. That is a hell flipping year. Page of work, in demand. Awesome. So would you like to know how to get clients or make sales without spending your lives or money on Facebook? I can tell you not what, a couple of years back, that's exactly what all I wanted to know. There wasn't anyone out there teaching you how to do it. All right, so simple success, because we want it to be simple, right? You have a desirable offer that someone is prepared to pay for because it solves a problem which causes them distress or disease, dis-ease. You know who wants it and where they are on Facebook. Now, I can tell you right now, most people think they know who's gonna buy their offer and where they're on Facebook, and this is often where people are going wrong because they don't fully understand that concept. And you know how to use Facebook's capabilities along with the right key messaging and the correct etiquette to market it to them and get a yes. Because believe it or not, when you are on Facebook, it is like dating. All you are looking for is a big fat yes, okay? Now, the good news is, is that people think that they have to do everything on Facebook to get a result. They've got to have a group. They've got a public group, private group. They've got to have um, 10 pages. They've got to have all these funnels. Um, no, you just have to have one 
simple income producing strategy that works. All right, so very important. Firstly, it starts with the offer. Okay, people always go, whenever I start working with my clients, they go, you're not even talking about Facebook. And I go, no, well, the number one thing is, like, what is your gonna be your offer? What is it that you're gonna actually be selling or giving to someone? And these are my five things, which I actually came up with an Uber driver actually on the way to the airport once. He asked me, I wanna have an online business, what, how should I come up with something? And this is exactly what I gave him. So number one, what lights your fire? So what do you absolutely love doing every day? So you've got to know who you are and what it is that you love to do. Number two is what do people already know, like, and trust about you? Because if people already know, like, and trust that about you, chances are you're in flow, that's a good thing, and you can leverage that, you can use that. Now what problem do those people have that you can easily solve? So it's hard for everyone else, but it's easy for you. For example, this morning with the two um, Californians, it's actually, a, um, they are military coaches. And they said to me, oh, every single day you just get up and you go onto Facebook, like that's such a mission and an effort. And I went, no, no, it isn't. Cause I know exactly what it is to do, what I have to do every day. So if something comes easy to you, what is that thing? What is that thing that you love to do that's easy for you that you can easily solve that problem, whereas other people struggle with that or take days, weeks, years, months to solve. Now, who are those people? Because those are the people who will pay that. They will pay for that. Because if they know, like, and trust you, it's lighting your fire so you are full of passion. You are solving a problem that they are struggling with and they cannot get a solution to. Guess what? They will pay you. And they will pay you your work. And number five is the absolute kicker. How can you then package up that offer? Because it has to be packaged up beautifully. And I'm going to show you how we do that today. But how do you make it valuable, desirable, irresistible, customer and outcome focused? Which means it doesn't have you, the, the coach or the business owner outcome. Your outcomes are not important. It's their outcome it has to be focused on. I'll give you an example with that. One of my clients, uh, she is a toddler, a baby and toddler coach. Absolutely lovely. Very, very clever at what she does. Um, she's creating a couple of programs and it's been a couple months since we've had our last session. She was follow following the strategy, then kind of went off strategy a little bit. Uh, and when I caught up with her yesterday and I, she said, I don't understand, I've been getting nobody at my events. And I said to her, well, what's changed? Like, what's actually changed? And she said, no, well, I changed the day. And I went, oh, okay. And then, oh, I changed the time. And I went, oh, okay. So it was working, but now you've gone and changed the day and time. So now it's not working. Uh, beforehand, it was an hour. Now it's an hour and a half. And I'm like, well, an hour and a half. Can you imagine sitting with babies and toddlers for an hour and a half to listen to a video? And then the last one was the kicker where they said, oh, I bought a fertility coach on. And I said, but is that customer focused? Because your customers have babies and toddlers. So I don't think they have a fertility issue. They probably don't have a fertility issue. And that may be the reason why you haven't been getting them to your events. And it was like, ah, oh, didn't even see that, didn't even think about that. So that's just to show you a little bit of an example how, of how that can match up. So accelerated success, because everyone wants success yesterday. Whenever people call me, it's like, yep, I want it done now. I want it all, all happening now. Let's have a look at accelerated success. If you want accelerated success, number one, go and stalk yourself online. Go take your phone, scroll through your personal profile and say to yourself, if I didn't know me, what does it look like I do? What is it, does it, how do I look to a stranger online? Then I want you to go stalk your competitors. How do they look online? Then look at your previous clients and go, who are my previous clients and how do they look? How do they talk? What do they like? What are they into? What are their interests? Because we're about to form a relationship with people just like them. And then for prospective clients, 
well, if we go and stalk who you think your prospective clients are, go stalk them because we want to see what they're interested in because you're about to form an online relationship with them. So stalking is the number one thing for accelerated success. So again, if anyone over here has done this before, if you've gone and stalked yourself, your competitors, your previous clients, your prospective clients, please let us know, put stalker in the comments below. So number two is brain dump your income opportunities. So have a look at all the valuable resources that you have. Uh, do you have an ebook? Do you have a checklist? Do you have an audit? What are, do you have a package? What are all the different income opportunities you have? Do you have one-on-one? -on -one? Do you have a workshop, uh, online coaching? Have a look at all of it. And I love to do this on a whiteboard, spider graph it all out and write all the income opportunities on there. And then have a look at how you're gonna monetize those desirable offers. So from those income opportunities, how are you going to monetize those desirable offers? And then number four is go forth and get them. And that means what is your strategy? So if you know these are your income opportunities and now you've gone and monetize those desirable offers, so created those desirable offers and put a price on all of them, you now have to use a strategy online to get paying clients. And it firstly starts with being able to effectively communicate what you do. So if you've got your mobile phones, take them out, take a screenshot of this, um, because this is simply the steps that you would need to take right now. Number one. So how do you effectively communicate what it is that you do? So when we meet people, it's easy. You talk, you get facial expressions. If you're talking to me, you'll get your hands as well. Your hands are in there and I'm bobbing around and you can see how I'm doing it. But when we're writing on social media, you know, people don't generally get a feeling and sometimes it can be misconstrued. If it's long form, if it's fluffy, it tends to resonate or work a lot less. So rather what we're hoping to get is that we want to be able to effectively communicate it. And this is what I was talking about earlier when we said, what is your key messaging? The key messaging that comes up all the time. So number one is if share your personal story, who you are. Just like in a conversation, if you were dating someone, talk a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your journey to, to how you got into your business, why you, why you love doing what you do, the problems that you solve for other people and share that and share it regularly. So you can put it in your bio on your personal profile. You can put it on your story section on your Facebook page. You can put it in the description in your Facebook group. However, in our content, we often have to go back and put those on there again, because guess what? We've got new fans coming onto the page. So it's important that we share an aspect of that story regularly on our personal profile, because that is how the normal relationship is built. That is our normal know, like, and trust is built. Number two is relevant content. So when we talk about relevant, it's not relevant to you, and it's not all these big fancy words. It's relevant to your prospective client. And that comes back to what we spoke about earlier in that if you want um, results online, you've got to go stalk your past clients, because they know, they, they know, like, and trust you, they love you, and hopefully what you've done for them has worked. So those are the more of those people we're trying to attract. What are they interested in? What do they want to know more about? And then we can post relevant content like that on there to attract more of those people. Number three is to share your point of difference. So if you're an accountant and you go on and you go, I'm an accountant, I do tax returns. Well, guess what? Every accountant goes on and says that they do tax returns. However, if you do tax returns, however, you've got 10 years experience in the uh, wholesaling, uh, import and export industry, you need to share your point of difference. It's the point of difference that's going to get you across the line. Number four is show your expertise. So you can do that by, if you've won awards, being featured in anything, if you're doing live collaborations, or uh, joint ventures, 
You can use that as credibility, but you can also show your expertise by providing top tips, um, running a little mini challenge, um, sharing statistics, showing that you know your stuff and showing that you know how to solve problems, the problems that they're experiencing. Number five is give social proof. So people don't want to just hear about how wonderful you are. They also want to hear from other people. So when you post your testimonials and your reviews and other comments from people, this gives us social proof. Another way to do this is by sharing success stories. People want to see uh, the, the results that you get in your business. So I worked with a client. They started, they felt like this, and now they're feeling like that. And I'm going to give you an example of how to do that uh, later today. Uh, number six is engage with your audience, meaning that when you post content, you actually have a two-way conversation. You reply to them. You ask them questions. Uh, you get feedback from them. You show interest in them because, again, that's how relationship is. Uh, and make sure that you follow up. So if somebody says, please, can I have more information? Please, could you send me something? How can I contact you? You want to make sure that you go in and you follow up with them. And number seven is a call to action. And this is something that a lot of people don't do because they feel bad. They feel like they're selling all the time. But a call to action doesn't necessarily need to be buy from me now. It can be something on the line, along the lines of, I have an offer available for the next week. Let me know if you're interested. It can be, what do you think about this? Do you have any feedback for me on this program? It can simply just be a question, but we need to either be, we need to be evoking a response. So some sort of engagement. We need to get them to take action because that's how the organic algorithm works uh, to reach a wider audience. But not only that, it gets people to take action so they don't scroll past you and move on and you get lost forever. So here are the three myths. Well, first, has anyone got any questions? Let's have a look. Anyone got any questions so far? Write them in the box over here and I'll have a little look. Um, and just please feel free to take screenshots of anything as we go through as well. Um, the reason that I am not sharing these for free anymore is that I have an email system that shows me uh, who is viewing my content. And we've been finding that other business owners, uh, not business owners, sorry, other marketing uh, business owners have been going in and downloading all my content. So not attending any of my webinars and actually downloading and trying to, whoops, trying to steal content. So uh, we are now not sharing these webinars anymore. So they'll only be to the people who show up live, which is super cool. So thank you so much for showing up. All right, so let's have any questions over here. Yes, where or how to show point of difference. Excellent. So Sashwa, great question. We'll be doing that in our content. So at least once a week, just bring it up. Um, something that you may be able to do is uh, if you, for example, are coaching and you've, your method's a bit different, you could showcase an, uh, your method and say, uh, we use this method because it does this uh, where, other, where other coaching methods do that. So we don't diss other people. All we do is we just show people what it is that we do that's different to everyone else. And we just do that by in our content. We just do that in our content and in our key messaging. So in our words, when we communicate um, on Facebook. So I hope that answered that question. Someone got traffic from stalking. How can one do that? Uh, I get heaps of, uh, I get stalked often and that does increase traffic because every time somebody goes onto your profiles or engages with you, it increases your organic reach. So you want to be stalkable. You want to make sure that you've got a professional profile that's set up, that when people stalk you, they know exactly what it is that you do and how they can contact you. Um, I got an opportunity this morning to speak on uh, one of the government commerce marketing platforms and it's actually two other marketing experts. And that came off my personal profile and I don't know two of these people, but they chose me and they messaged me through my personal profile. Um, and that would have been stalking me. They would have been stalking me and I wouldn't have even been aware that it was happening. So I hope that that answers that too. Um, okay, let's have a look. Are you talking about the personal profile being professional? 
Uh, yes, Satina, 100%. Your personal profile does need to be professional looking. So yes, you can use it for your personal Facebook, but it still shouldn't have your pole dancing pictures on it. Um, and, it's, and it still should be in good taste and it should still have all your business contacts on it. Because when somebody is stalking the person that they're going to work with, they stalk the person, they don't stalk the business page because people do business with people. So you want to make sure that you could still have a private personal profile. You want to make sure that people can still find your name, see what it is that you do um, and have a professional personal looking profile. Um, and when you do one of my programs, that's exactly what we go through as well. How to keep the private things private and how to keep the public things public. Uh, yes, Daryl, I noticed that you did this uh, by sharing competitors posts and then offering collaboration works well most times for me selling. Yeah, uh, Daryl's a bit cheeky. He has done that. Um, it can work and it can also blow up in your face. So, um, but if you've got the ball to execute it, uh, by all means, go ahead and do it. Uh, I did something. Um, I use organic uh, biodegradable coffee pods that come weekly. I showcase their business on my profile. Um, and that also got quite a bit of engagement as well from them as well. So you can do joint collaborations that way, but going directly for your competitors, um, as long as you have intention and a strategy on how you're actually going to monetize that, uh, that's awesome. I wouldn't say competitors, maybe referral partners is probably a better word um, to do joint collaboration so that you can help grow and support each other's businesses. All right, cool. So let's jump onto the three myths. The right person will buy the right offer presented the right way online. Now, if one of those rights is wrong, it will not work. And that was the example that I showed you earlier with the uh, fertility coach coming in as a speaker. It has to be the right person, the right offer, and presented the right way. Uh, you do not have to spend hours and hours online doing every single thing that you've ever heard of to get clients online. You only need to spend 20 minutes a day when you know what you're doing. You do not have to gamble your hard-earned money away on ads or outsourcing to get a client online. You, the business owner, are the right person to manage your Facebook to get clients. Uh, and I am going to go into each of those myths here and show you, as well as showing you what my clients are doing. So no, number one, no one will buy my offer. Or my favorite at the moment is no one's spending money. All right, so this is how we can change that. You need to relook at your customer avatar. So when things change, you have to change. You have to adapt. I'm sure everyone's heard it, adapt, pivot, whatever. But for life, we have to do this on a regular basis. We've got to re-look at our customer and what are they spending? Who is spending money and what are they spending on it right now? And then you have to have a look at how you're going to adapt that to then suit that avatar. Or you're going to have to change your avatar. It's as simple as that. I lost all my events uh, going into COVID and I had, a, I had an international uh, event, traveling event, where I was going to a whole bunch of different states and going overseas and COVID hit literally the day I was about to fly out to start that. And I lost all that work, all that money. But I came in, redid my offer, redid the way I did things, and I picked up new business doing new things. Um, so we have to look at the age, gender, demographic, needs, wants, fears, aspirations, objections, pain points, their earnings. And it has to be customer solution and outcome focused. Has to be, has to be, has to be. If it's not, it will not work. If it's not in the best interest of the customer, it will not work. So they will spend money on it if it's valuable to them. Okay, so let's use me as an example. So the pain of my clients is there's the inability to use Facebook and to market themselves. Okay, their inefficiency to deliver their services online. Okay, they're just inefficient. They're not doing it efficiently. It's taking them hours and hours because things aren't automated. They can't book clients. They can't take money online. And they've got limited financial resources. So they can't pay someone else to do it. Okay. So then I came up with the offer. All right, people. Well, if you invest in your ability to successfully use Facebook to get clients and to successfully deliver your programs online, um, you will still have a business. 
and you'll still have a business at the end of COVID. Um, and that is what I did. And that is how I've been very busy over this time because I adapted my offer to suit the market. I said, well, great, I will get you online, automated online and using Facebook to get clients and now, and we'll change your offer. And I had to focus on the offer aspect of it because the offer had to change in order for the sale to happen. So if people have no income, however, they invest in, them, invest in themselves, so it's a once-off payment to invest in themselves, to be able to get ongoing clients, it's a no-brainer. It becomes a desirable offer. So meet Mel. So Mel's a photographer, all right? So with COVID, social distancing, now what, all right? How is she going to go and take photos of people or weddings? you know, have, have mostly been stopped. Uh, so all her business went pear-shaped. So I got a call from Mel and she said, I don't know what to do. Photographer, what do I do? I do a lot of product photography as well. I said, well, what do you love to do? What lights your fire? And she said, well, product photography, loves to do it, but you know, people are gonna have to post their products out to her, take photos, they're gonna have to send them back again. It's, 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 it's gonna cost them a lot of money. And you know, you'll get, you. Um, it's just not going to be worth it. It's not desirable. So I said, fine, sign up to the program. Let's see what we can do. So she created a new offer. And how did she do it? First, she identified the pain. People now, more than ever, are going online and selling lots of products. And what that means is they need good quality images and they need to upload them regularly onto their website, but also onto social media because the better images are going to sell more and they can charge more for better images. Okay, and they might get new offers. So especially in the jewelry business, they might get this color earrings this month and next month they'll get another color earring. So they can't keep sending off uh, products to her to photograph to then send back again. It's gonna to be too difficult. So how do we change the offer? So we started, uh, we created an online product photography course where Mel can teach online shops how to do it themselves professional images using their own phones. How freaking amazing is that? Is that an offer? Did you see that offer coming? Like did that, did you actually see that offer coming? If you did, that's awesome. I think that's fantastic. And hopefully you can come up with something like that for your business. Um, but we had to create that new program and literally a new, a new funnel on Facebook to now generate those clients or those customers. So bad images equals less sales equals less income. And this over here is how you present that offer, all right? Because we have to present that offer to, to the people online to get a yes from them. So if you outsource product photography without even posting it to somebody, like let's not even take into account the posting and having to ensure, ensure products and the backwards and forwards. But usually a product photography may charge, say $250 for 10 photos. And say they did that quarterly. So four times a year, they change their website. Uh, Four times a year they change their website and they've only got 10 photos to use in three months because they're doing it four times a year. They've got 10 photos to regurgitate on social media. Okay, That would cost them, say, $1,000 a year for 40 images in total. And that's without COVID and posting backwards and forwards. However, they can learn to do it themselves and have one-on-one -on -one coaching with her uh, and have unlimited images on hand for whenever. So they can just take images. Every time they get stuck, stuck they'll know how to take new images uh, and upload it to their socials, upload it to their website. Uh, all they've got to do is work one-on-one -on -one with, with, with Mel. And they can do that now forever. You can see now that that becomes a unique value proposition and that it is now a valuable, desirable offer to her ideal client. And over here, these are some of the things that she would use to show, but here are some uh, unprofessional images, which are used on social media, as opposed to learning to do it yourself and keeping, staying brand consistent and being able to learn how to do it yourself from your own phone, working with a coach. And again, that's how we show that offer. Right. Does that make sense to everyone? Did everyone uh, get how we adapted and how that now works and that that content now would be shown across her social media to show that this is now what she's doing to help 
solve a problem right now with COVID. And of course, she's got to come up with that actual program and then execute it as well. And that's often where people need help. All right, so number two is um, hours and hours on Facebook. All right, and again, if you're honest, okay, actually put in the chat box below, how many hours per day do you spend on Facebook? And I'll let you know uh, a statistic now. Uh, so how many hours per day will you spend on Facebook? And your, your mobile phone actually has a, um, a way for you to actually track that, which is really cool, if you weren't aware of that. So write that in the chat box if you're open and honest, if you know. All right. Um, and again, as long as you're getting a return on your investment, that's absolutely amazing. So if you're actually getting clients and you're spending that amount of time, that's awesome. If you're spending time and you're not getting anything, that's where we've got to relook at what's working and what's not working. So hours and hours on Facebook. Okay, so this is how it looks. Endless, and if this is you, say, yep, this is me, or comment which one of those is you, because endless uncertain posting of content. Oh, I'll just post this, I'll post this, don't know what it means, just endlessly uncertain posting. Staring bank blankly at the screen going, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to post. Or random messaging uh, of people. Uh, have meaningless conversations that go nowhere, um, especially if you're a girl. <laughs> Um, a hot girl, especially. Um, uncomfortable lives, Facebook lives that you absolutely hate doing. A technology stresses you out and you're trying to sell while you're homeschooling, uh, trying to share the MBN. So here's the thing. I've got three teen girls. Um, I'm addicted to exercising and being outside. I actually hate being in front of the computer. I've got a dog that needs running a lot because he's a big dog. Um, and I have a partner I love spending time with. Um, so I really don't want to be on Facebook and I want to simply do what I need to do on Facebook as quickly as possible. Um, and that's easy when I have a strategy. So you know where you are on Facebook, you know what to say, you have a desirable offer they can't refuse and you only really spend about 20 minutes per day following the action plan to get a yes from Facebook, uh, to get a yes from your ideal client. So here's the thing. You may have to spend a bit of time when we're setting this all up. Like if you're going to set up a strategy and you're going to set up how you're going to take payments, how you're going to do your discovery calls, what is your key messaging, who is your client avatar, that's going to take, you know, one or two hours per week until you get it down pat. But from there, you'll be able to execute that strategy uh, for 20 minutes a day on Facebook to get clients. You do have to tweak it every now and then and you do have to monitor your insights. So on following your daily action plan of 20 minutes, you engage your perfect customer uh, with your desirable offer, and they cannot say no to you, which is really cool. You follow one income producing strategy. Um, so there are a lot of people that actually have got multiple income producing strategies. I work with a lot of those people as well, who've got a few income producing strategies. And guess what? It's not the same strategy. You cannot use the same strategy for each. Uh, I was working with a, a client earlier today. Uh, she's got two desirable offers. The one is going to be converted into an email marketing system with a private Facebook group. The other one is going to be put as a website subscription program uh, at which we're gonna direct traffic to from Facebook. So there you can see two completely different strategies to get sales uh, to each of those. But yeah, and it's not selling when they actually want your offer and when you put it in front of the people who actually want it. You're actually doing them a favor. So we spoke about social proof, and this is one of the things that's important to include in your social media marketing at least once a week, repurposing testimonials to show social proof of other results that people are getting. Uh, because this is going to give you credibility and people can see that it actually does work, uh, that you're not just BSing them, that you actually do get results for what it is that you do. Um, Let's go into myth number three. Leave it to someone else, my absolute favorite. I don't wanna do it. I'm not really Facebook savvy. I'm just gonna give it to someone else to do. Well, yep, that's okay. You can pay $10 US or $10 AU even if you like to get someone else to do it for you. Or you could get your mother, your sister, your daughter, and even or your accountant, which we've seen happen in the past, where the accountant was given the responsibility of doing the social media. Um, However, is it going to be done properly? Or you could spend $1,000 a week 
uh, or at least $500 a week and possibly get a better job at it. But at the end of the day, it's probably just going to be content. Uh, please excuse my dog. That's my dog that needs running. Um, so myth number three is leave it to someone else. So here's the thing. Do you really want to trust someone else with your leads? And if you don't know how to monitor them or watch them, how do you know if it's working or not working? Because they'll show you a whole smack of insights and say, look, here's traffic, but you're not actually seeing anybody coming through the door. So you could outsource to, uh, outsource to a copywriter, a VA, Facebook ad, social media manager, your daughter, your wife, or your accountant, but do they value your business? Do they value your clients and prospects as much as you do? Does their bread and butter depend on getting you that client? Do they actually have skin in the game? The risk is actually all yours. Uh, they're getting money regardless. Um, so they're getting their money. They'll just post on there and they're getting money regardless. So it's important for us to know this. And I'm speaking from experience because most people come to me, then they go, no, I don't want to learn how to do it myself. I want someone else to do it. They do it for three months. They spend money on someone else. Uh, then they come back to me and they go, that didn't work. Can you please show me so I can manage it myself? It's too expensive. I can't do it. So if actually, if you've been burned, can you share that if you're brave enough to share that you've invested money in someone else and you've had no return? And you know what? If there's a good news story, I'd love to hear that as well. Uh, if you have invested in someone else and you do, are getting results, please share your results too. I'm happy for that too. But here's the thing. Why do I honestly believe that the business owner is the best person? And this again comes from my personal experience when in the early days I was trying to grow my own business and couldn't afford someone else to do it for me, um, I then realized that I actually was the, the same thing. Um, so I was the best person for it. So you know your customer best, okay? Your $10 VA is not gonna know your customer best and possibly the person who is even paying $1,000 to is not gonna know your customer best. Um, you know your business best. You know, you're passionate about what it is that you do. You're the expert in your business and you can clearly communicate what it is that you do. Can they do that? And that's the question. And you are probably the, if you are the person that's actually going to be working with the client, you need to be, um, you need to be building that relationship with them. This is the example I use. It's like going to a date and sending your VA to the date to have that first conversation to see if it's worthwhile. How would you feel? How would you seriously feel if a VA pitched up and you were going to a date and the VA said, I'm talking to you just to see if you're the right person for my client. You will lose the client. It's your relationship to have, especially if you're the coach. And that's one of the reasons why your personal profile is super important. Um, Maria, can I answer that question at the end? So if you can just, copy that question and paste it to me a little bit further on, happy to answer that question uh, for you. That's a fantastic question. So meet Alison, another one of my clients, and this was life before. So remember we spoke about sharing success stories, whoops, sharing success stories of how people used to feel beforehand and how they feel afterwards. And this is the type of content again that you need to be posting in order to get a yes, in order to get sales on Facebook. You want to talk about how your clients felt beforehand. So with Alison, she had limited Facebook knowledge, random business posting, was not specific with her business. And I just got Alison to write this up for me. So you can do the same with your customers. Had an online booking system. It wasn't even used or linked anywhere. No direction. Uh, she knew she needed help with social media. Uh, she lacked the confidence personally and business-wise. No website, no newsletter, no online shop, only word of mouth referrals, no marketing knowledge or plan. And that's the before. But here's the here's after. Life after Chantel. So I became educated in Facebook, the where's and the hows. Uh, understanding of icons and settings. Set up an awesome eye-catching profile page. So you can go check her out. Uh, Alison Dunn, not kinesiologist. Uh, linked all her social media profiles and the website to Facebook. Established her business identity, her story and her pitch, which is super important. Understanding of Facebook groups, how they work, became accountable, which is huge. Most people love that. I have goals and direction, worked out what her point of difference is, identified clients, their pain points, how to resolve their issues, created her pitch and knows how to use it, discovered what a discovery call is and how to convert the client in 15 minutes over the phone, discovered email marketing and how to nurture and funnel clients. I mean, this one's important, Maria, because these are some of the fundamentals that are important 
or if you do Facebook ads, if you do not have these in place, it will not work. If you do not have everything working, the key messaging to being able to generate, to be able to capture those leads, it will not work. If you do not have email marketing or your newsletter or your discovery call in place, if you do not have your point of difference, if you do not have any of the fundamentals, your Facebook ads will not work. You need to have your organic strategy down packed first. So I've actually answered that question for you. Your organic Facebook strategy down packed first and you need to be all organically have your desirable offers and generating clients already without paying for ads before ads will actually work. Um, turned her dream into a reality by setting up her website, uh, her, her online booking system, and then also automated her processes. She, she, um, she has a shop and she actually makes all these beautiful essential oils that are actually blessed by, uh, they're blessed by the moon and by angels and they all contain crystals as well. Uh, and she's all branded them now as well. So she's got her own shop, which is really, really, really cool. Um, Facebook posts have become more streamlined and professional looking and helped with the time management skill, which she's still working on. Um, and she's quite an introvert, actually. But she says, yeah, Chantel's given me the confidence to expand to online sessions. I'm able to streamline the whole online process and schedule it to payment system to Zoom link. Personally, I've grown immensely. Chantel has given me the skills to shine personally and confidently handle my business through social media. That's an example of how uh, showing success stories can help people to get a yes. You can get a yes from the right people. Just remember, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do and how I get my clients through Facebook and how I make sales through Facebook and I'm already doing it now, believe it or not. So the next one over here is to share, um, to share statistics. So some people are analytically minded and they have to see statistics on your Facebook page. So you need to also incorporate that in your content to build that credibility. So, you know, page likes are up by 300. So many inquiries through Facebook Messenger, online bookings and Facebook have increased, increased leads. Um, online sessions have been in, introduced, which we actually had to rush just before COVID. So she had some extra sessions. Um, she's even got a client in Spain now. Uh, desirable offer with initial consult, follow-up, uh, with reading cards, product sales. It's all automated. Um, and she's got a Facebook marketing strategy. Having come from nothing. So this is what I want to show you. Okay, so these are her statistics. They are from the 25th of February to 23rd of March. And for those of you who don't look at insights, you can find these on your business page. But you can see over here that there's been four actions on the page in that time frame, meaning that four people had clicked through to her webs uh, to uh, book, what's her call to action, to book an appointment with her. Uh, 98 page views in that time. It's actually down. This was actually just during COVID. So you can see that. Uh, page previews, uh, five previews. That means they've passed their face. Page likes 13, so still 13 page likes in a month during COVID, unpaid, it's down by 41%. So you can see COVID did hit that business. Uh, post reach is down by 7%, but who would like 1,626 people reached? Uh, story reached as well, so using page story. Recommendations are up, so she's had two people recommend her. Post engagement down by 10%, however, had 1,461 post engagements and 156 three second video views. Uh, now again, this comes from her insights. If you have a look at it, this is the traffic. So you can see here, action kit button clicks are the orange ones. I'm going right to left, sorry. Are the orange ones. So people clicking through uh, to her business to book a, a call, a discovery call. Um, and over here, you can see the website clicks as well. So I encourage you to actually go and look on your Facebook insights for this. Uh, and phone number clicks, there aren't any because we direct everybody to a discovery call because she does everything by appointment, but, um, by appointments. Again, this all comes from insights where you can see in the last 28 days, 100, 156 messenger connections as of March 23rd. But what's really cool to see is that there's five new messenger connections, which is actually down by 38%. So meaning in that month, there were five new people on the page who messaged her, made inquiries. How super cool is that? Who would be happy with five new messenger connections, which is actually down by 
All right, so let me ask you. <laughs> uh, who's learned something really cool? Good question here, Satina. How long did it take Alison to get this? Uh, Alison did my first program, which she probably did over about two months. It's a program I will be showing you uh, soon. Uh, but then she went on and she's done additional coaching with me on top of that. So fantastic question. Um, so if you learned anything that was mind-blowing, I'd love to know what mind-blowing that you learned right now. But I would imagine that some of you right now are also needing some help. Um, and some of you may not wish to hear this, but what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to value stack my offer. So I'm going to make an offer to you, a desirable offer that I feel that you're the right people to receive right now. And up until this point, I've taken you through the same process that you should be taking your clients through by showing social proof, sh uh, creating a desirable offer, stacking the offer, uh, using the right key messaging. So there are two types of people, those who are willing to invest to change what they do to be up and running confidently, or those who will do nothing and wake up tomorrow in the same place they are today. But just the fact that you registered and showed up today um, shows that you are looking for help already or open for help, which is really cool. And I'd love to be able to help you to be more successful. Um, there were 24 people registered for today, and I think we have 13 people on. So generally, that's a 50% 50, 50 50 show up rate, um, which is a good show up rate. It's all about the show up. And this is one of the reasons why we are not emailing these out and this offer uh, well, it does go out to my database. However, they actually have to pay for this webinar now. So this is how you value stack the offer as well, because presenting that desirable offer to people is important. So we have an offer for you today. Uh, it's my Facebook one-on-one -on -one mastery with a whole whack of major bonuses. So my Facebook one-on-one -on -one mastery program includes four hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. It includes my Do It Yourself Facebook marketing program, which is a video program, meaning in between our coaching sessions, you can access 15 to 20 minute videos and go back and refresh uh, some concepts that you may be struggling with, like Facebook Lives or key messaging or your niche. Oh, and it includes a workbook as well, plus eight weeks um, online weekly group training. So. There are some people on today that are part of that weekly group training. If you don't mind commenting in the box below, if you find the weekly group training on a Monday at one o'clock valuable, if you've learned anything new in those weekly group training sessions, let us know. But this offer includes that. Plus, even if, okay, so this is value stacking. I'm just showing you how to do it so you can do it for your clients as well. If you only got one client and a one client was $1,000 a month, and say you only got one client per month after doing this program, that would be an additional $12,000 per year, which is a total of, just showing you the value of this program, the total of almost 15,000 AU dollars. But because we want to make it irresistible and desirable, we have thrown in a whole bunch of bonuses and it's to accommodate the current market. So it's to accommodate the current market of people that are going through COVID right now that are requiring additional time, that are uh, requiring additional coaching, and they're requiring whole new concepts and programming. So we've thrown in these additional bonuses for free in order to accommodate that. So this includes an additional two hours one-on-one -on -one coaching. The do-it-yourself Facebook ads program which is valued at $500. So for those of you who want to explore Facebook advertising, that do-it-yourself Facebook ads program includes 10 modules. Plus, we're gonna throw an extra 10 months of the online weekly group training, which means from the time we start working together, you're gonna to get an entire year's worth of weekly group live training. So one hour with me, which is gonna be completely value packed um, and includes Q&A as well. Plus, we've thrown this in because people need what we find in additional things put, put in. So you will get in four hours with my secret weapon, my personal VA. So for example, the, uh, the last time we ran this, we had three people buy the program and the one lady is an accountant. She purchased, the, she used those four hours to set up her MailChimp and her email marketing system. 
We had another one who set up her subscription on her website, and we had another one who helped to set up her payment system through Stripe. So you can use those four hours with my VA to do whatever it is that you like, and I actually will help project manage that for you as well. So those additional bonuses come to an additional 2521. So just so you can have a look again to see everything that you can get from this program, you've got the four plus the two, so that's six hours one on one with me to have it at your leisure. You get the do it yourself Facebook ad, uh, marketing program and the do it yourself Facebook ads program. You get an entire year in the mastermind group online training. So that's one year with me to make sure that you're accountable for getting clients and keeping up with the program. And even if you only just got one client per month, at $1,000, that would be an additional $12,000 per year. And plus four, four hours we're giving you with my VA to set up what it is that you need set up. That's a total value of $17,500. So who is this for? Because it's not for everyone, guys. So hopefully I do have the right people on the call today. But let's have a look. You recognize the importance of adapting your online offer so it actually makes sales. You see Facebook as a crucial tool to get clients and grow your brand. You're ready to have a professional online business that you can confidently run. That's a huge word, confidently. You are coachable and willing to implement what is needed uh, to actually be successful. You're serious about investing in the marketing and client generation for your business. So here's the bottom line. Those who step up, adapt and pre be pre proactive will make money during this time. We're actually already coming out of COVID. So already we're needing to pivot again and change. Uh, and we're gonna keep some of those concepts from COVID to now post COVID because things are not gonna go back to the same. So here's the thing, it took me three years of frustration, time wasting and costly mistakes to eventually learn what works and what doesn't work and how to put a system into place. So within a few sessions and with some of me handholding you, I can confidently have you set up with the skills and strategy to make sales on Facebook. And for today, we're selling that program for $2,000. Facebook Mastery with all those additional bonuses. So if you're asking, oh my gosh, how? Uh, you can simply click the screen and it'll take you directly to that link. Whoa, or not. Um, which is a horrible link, absolutely horrible link. But if you can either take a screenshot and put that into the URL, or I can put that into the chat box, or if somebody would like to post that into the chat box for me. Uh, I know, Sashwa, you were quicker, quick in the last one. That would be super cool. Uh, then you could simply just copy paste it into your URL, uh, and that will take you straight to the landing page, which will give you those additional bonuses. So anybody clicking on that link today will get that, those additional bonuses included. So whatever your biggest challenges are, I have seen them all and I know how to overcome them. And I understand it may not be every, for everyone uh, because of the time that it takes me to work with these clients to ensure that they get results and come up with an income producing strategy. We only have four available. As I said, the last one we did, we had three people grab, we had three people grab the program out of the four and already over the last two weeks, they have come in leaps and bounds uh, in their strategy and their programming. Uh, um, it will go out, okay, cool. But it is going out to my database, but as I said, it will go out and there will be a $27 charge to those people. So you, you do have the unfair advantage to snap up one of those four that are available. So Sashwa, there we go, how quick can you be? <laughs> um, you can grab that link over here at the bottom. And if you don't mind just putting it, I can't copy paste it because it just keeps changing my slide into the uh, chat box. That would be awesome. If anybody is interested in that, you can let me know. And for those of you who maybe are still a little bit unsure, um, if you need to get clients, make sales, need help, you don't want the overwhelm and the frustration and you want it done in the quickest amount of time, click on that link if you want to be one of the four. Or however, you can also book a call with me as well on my website. So if you jump onto the website, you can book a call with me to go over what specifically you may be needing in your business right now. Once again, sharing with you some testimonials to show the social proof uh, and the results that we've achieved. I love the one from Karen over here. 
stop hesitating, procrastinating, coming up with excuses like I did, uh, start with Chantelle, you won't regret it. And once again, here is that link to book now. Um, and it is first in best dress for anybody who wants to have all those bonuses to come up with that strategy so that you can actually sell like crazy on Facebook. All right, excellent. So I'll just jump back in here now. Awesome, thanks so much guys for jumping on board. Here would be an absolutely amazing opportunity for you to, oh, thank you, Sashwa, that's amazing. So if anyone over there could please copy paste that into a URL, that would be a way for you to click straight through and purchase that program. If anyone does have a question or two, um, I know we are over time, so I respect that, but maybe just two questions. The first two questions that come in, I'll be happy to answer those two for you. Um, or if you have any feedback for me, that would be amazing. Anything that you learned today, that would be really awesome to share with me. Let's have a look. No, we're all good. That's excellent. Um, so just to maybe expand a little bit on what I spoke about earlier with regards to Facebook advertising. Yes, there is a place for outsourcing. Yes, there is a place for uh, finding someone to handle your social media management. Yes, there is a place for Facebook advertising. But if you, the business owner, don't have a strategy and don't know what you're hoping to achieve, this is where things fall short. You know, Satina, let's just see why that link is not working. It should be. You know, this will be one of those things where, yeah, everything was working this morning and now it doesn't. <laughs> Let's have a look. But I can send it to you privately as well. Ah, oh, it isn't working. All right, no worries. I will send it to those people who need it. It will be going out in the email as well. So there will be an email going out in the next hour uh, with that link, which is super cool. Um, yeah, don't know why that link's not working. I really do apologize. That's terrible. Um, but yeah, with regards to Facebook advertising, there is a, a if you do not have the strategy, and if the business owner doesn't have that strategy to give to the people who are implementing the plan, this is where the problem comes in. If you have a Facebook ads person, you need to go to them with a strategy and, sh and have an offer and understand your client because else they will do what you say and what you say or think is going to work doesn't really work. Um, so it is important to have that strategy in place and working before you go and outsource and go give that to somebody else. So I hope that that makes sense to everyone. Um, so thank you very much, uh, Satina. As I said, what I will do is there is an email going out one hour after this, uh, which will have that link and I will double check that that link does work. We'll give you an opportunity to click in and take advantage of that bonus. Uh, let's have a look here. Any other questions? Personal page versus business page. A bit of an explanation where to post. Awesome. What I'll do, Sashwa, is I will, I will send you, personally, I can send you a video on that, which I did, which is it's probably about three years old, but it is, it's a one hour training video, the difference between a personal page and a business page. And it's absolutely amazing that, 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 that video on YouTube. So you can either go to my YouTube channel and search for it. Alternatively, I'm happy to share that one with you. Um, uh, I'd love this, that post as well. Satina, awesome. I'll just write this down so that I do it all. Where's my list? Yep, so I'm happy to send that to you. Uh, Sashwa, to send that YouTube video. And there is also a new group which is called um, Avoid the Waft Tan. And basically every Wednesday there'll be a weekly webinar. So that officially starts on the 3rd of June. So if you haven't joined that group already, um, let's have a look here. That would be awesome if you can join the group, avoid the WAFTAM, and there'll be weekly webinars. So the next webinar on, the, on June the 3rd is called, When Are You Ready For Ads? So uh, that will be another excellent one over there as well. Cool, so I've just written all those names down. Let's see, cool. I'll just, what I might do is for those of you in the VIP group, I might just share it in the VIP group for everyone and that way they can all have it. Uh, it should be called Chantelle Girardi. 
Facebook strategist should be my YouTube channel. There should be a link straight from the website to YouTube. Um, avoid the Waftam. It's, I can put that in the link as well, and that one should work. There we go. And that will be weekly webinars. So there will be a different desirable offer at the, each, uh, at the end of each webinar. Uh, that one over there, as I said, on the 3rd of June is be, going to be called, uh, when are you ready for ads? However, it's going to be very much based on this, because as I said, if you don't have your offer right, you don't have your strategy right, you don't have your systems in place and you can't capture those leads, you're not ready for ads because you will pay money and it will go down the toilet, um, which is not cool. So that is the group, that one over there. I just want to just try one more time for that link for you very quickly, if you don't mind waiting, just to see if I can find it. Um, I can't believe it's not working. It's got to be a website thing. We actually did have an issue last night with our emails, believe it or not. My VA was up at nine o'clock trying to sort, sort out a few things. So here we go. I'll send you this, put this link in the box and then you can have it, but it will go out in your emails as well. There we go. So it's a Facebook mastery program, but straight away what will happen is we will, um, there we go. There we go. If you purchase by Wednesday at 5 p.m., there we go, click on that link, that link will work. It'll automate it and you'll straight away get those bonuses and my VA will be able to give you those four hours um, and you'll straight away get all those bonuses. That package has been already lined up. So if anybody takes it by Wednesday, 5 p.m., they'll get it, which is super cool. So just click through to that link. Um, all right, guys. So sorry, I know we're a little bit over, but if anyone else has any other questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, just wait. Lovely to see you on the other side. And thank you so much for attending today, guys. Have an amazing day.